If you're watching this video, you probably have a power supply or a battery, and you're trying to connect multiple motors to one of these two things. So you might be wondering how to do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of solutions on how to make this connection. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. So here's a schematic showing the connection. So here is a power supply and for simplicity, I'm only showing two motors, but you could expand this idea to as many motors as you wish. So you want to connect the motors to the power supply in parallel. So what this means is you want the plus or the red line to go to both motors, and you want the minus or the white line to also go to both motors. So here is just a schematic, but what parts do you actually need to make this physical connection? So here is one solution that you could use. So these are some nice compact splicing wire connectors. So the reason why I like these is it's very easy to snap them on and off. Um, if you want a more permanent solution, you could try soldering, but this is very nice if you want to connect multiple wires together. So I'll go ahead and drop a link down below in the description if you're interested in getting one of these. So here I'm using two of these five port connectors. So this allows me to connect two motors together or even more. You could see that I'm only using three of the five ports, but the idea is you want to take your power supply and get the red line connected to one of these five port connectors. And then you're going to have two more red lines coming out of the five port connector and going to the red line of the motors. So what I've done here is these are these bare actuators that I've been playing with. Super nice to use, but what I ended up doing was I decided to cut off the XT30 connector on there and then use one of these inline single port connectors. So that makes it really easy for me to connect them on and off because I, at the time I didn't want to create my own uh, XT30 cable. So this is the solution I came up with. And on the negative side of the connection, you want to do pretty much exactly the same thing we did for the positive end. So this is another solution you can use too. These are some screw terminal screw blocks. So they work in a very similar concept. So you could just replace these with the five port connectors. And you can see that automatically this already has eight pieces available. So you could go ahead and choose that. The main things you want to pay attention to is to make sure that the amperage rating is meets your requirement. So go ahead and make sure to spec out exactly how much your system is going to be running at so you can choose the correct one. Okay, so using a battery is going to be a very similar setup. The only thing that's going to be different is the connection to the battery. So specifically in this case, the battery I was using, these Z batteries, they have a XT60 connector. So on the battery end, it's a female end. So what you're going to have to end up getting is a male end connector. You can either get cables that have the XT60 male end with um, cables directly connected to it, or you could go ahead and buy a connector and solder some cables on there. So I went ahead and soldered my own, uh, but you could do whichever you want. You could use these single port inline connectors again to connect it from the end of the XT60 connector to the rest of these five port connectors. Or you could just connect it directly to the five port if your cable is long enough. So go ahead and see which solution works for you. But the main idea is you make the same connection as we did for the power supply, then you should be able to power up your motors. Just make sure that if you need to have multiple batteries, if you're low on voltage, then you need to add some of these extra batteries together. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.